welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. This week we are going to be installing the silver holder LED strip on the hood. I'm sure you guys have seen these all around. Pick one up from Amazon. We're gonna throw it on my Ram 1500, see how it looks. I'm gonna run you guys through everything you need to know step by step. We're not gonna waste any more time. Let's get right into it. First things first, I'm gonna take some alcohol and a microfiber towel and prep our surface. When you open this thing up, you can see it's double-sided tape. Since my battery is on this side of the truck, we're gonna run it this way. I'll show you guys how we're gonna set it up in a second. I've seen people run them both on their hood and on the grill here. We're just gonna run it right across the top here. It's long enough, it's gonna drop down on top of the headlight. Anything extra, I'm just gonna tuck in under this flap right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep this edge real quick and I'll see you guys in a second. Now that this is all nice and prepped, the next step is you wanna make sure you find the center. Don't just start at one end and work your way. You wanna work from the center out. So I'm gonna lay this out real quick, mark the exact center of it, and then we'll move on to the next step. We went ahead and got our center marked right here. This thing also comes with an inline fuse that just unscrews if you pop the fuse. You just unscrew this, throw a new one in there, and you're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to a battery real quick just to test it out before we install it to make sure it's all good. So as you saw there, we're all good. You do wanna make sure that you have the right side because only one side lights up. You can see there's like a rounded side. That's the side with the LEDs in them. The flat side does not. So make sure the flat side goes to the back and the rounded side pointed out. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the center of my truck just so I have a good idea of where we're starting out make sure the centers line up. So now that we've got our center mark here, we're gonna line up both of our center marks and work our way outwards. Here's our center mark for the top. I'm going to flip it over and basically just get it started, take a little knife and just cut this protective layer off. That way I can peel off half at a time. I went ahead and just fished the wires right through here and it just pops out right on the inside. Now I'll show you guys how we're gonna hook it up. Next thing you'll wanna do is locate your fuse box and get this guy opened up. Basically what we're looking for is something that's only running when your vehicle is on. You do not wanna just hook this up directly to the battery, otherwise it would be constant power. It would be on all the time. In this case, I'm gonna double check it with the test light as you can see. So checking this fuse, I got no power. I'm gonna go turn the key on real quick. If I have power with the key on, that's the one we're gonna tap into. The key is now on, and we got power. In my fuse box, it comes with a fuse puller right here. So when I take this out, all it does is pinches the fuse, a lot easier. So I'm gonna take this guy, get it out. And I do have some fuse taps on order. That is the right way to do it. They just haven't been delivered yet. So for right now, I'm gonna show you guys the lazy way to do this. I do not recommend doing this. I'm just doing this for a minute until my fuse taps get here later today, and then I'll do it the right way. So order some fuse taps. I'll put a link in the description. But for right this second, the lazy way to do this is strip this wire down so you have a little bit more showing and just wrap it around one pull of the fuse and put it back in. The red wires are power, the black ones are ground. We'll start with the power real quick and then I'll show you guys what we'll do for the ground. Again, please do not do it that way. That is just temporary to get this video to show you guys until I get some fuse taps. Please use the fuse taps. So now we got our black ground wire and all we need to do is find a ground which they are all over the vehicle. Right here, this bolt is a ground right next to my fuse box or you can go straight to the battery if you wanna go on the negative side, you can do that as well. I'm gonna get this wire stripped, grab an eyelet, and make sure we're doing this the right way. We basically take our ground wire, insert it into the eyelet until it goes all the way in there, and then we smash it down. Gotta squeeze it really tight to make sure it doesn't fall out, but now you can see we have an end on this. Now all I'm gonna do for mine is I'm gonna loosen the negative terminal on my battery just a little bit, enough to slide this on, and then I'll tighten everything back down. 
and we should be good to go. Before I get these wires all zip tied up and cleaned up, we're gonna go ahead and make sure it works. They look great, everything works, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean these wires up real quick. I've seen some people just put some black electrical tape over the top of this, which I might do. Also, where it extends past the edges here, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the LEDs in black tape so I can make everything stop right here at the edges on either side. It's just something else to think about. A few steps finally showed up. I'm gonna run you guys real quick through how to use them. They come in a pack like this, so you get a ton of them. I think it's only 12 or 15 bucks. Basically what you'll do, find the fuse that they wanna steal power from. And you can see in here, this has two slots. When you unplug the old fuse, you're gonna plug the tap in to its spot. The fuse that was in the hole that you're stealing from goes on the bottom. The new fuse, whatever you wanna to use to power, that'll be the fuse you put in the top. Then you'll have power going to the end here and all you have to do is crimp the wire and you got power. And that'll wrap up today's video. If you got anything out of this video, please consider subscribing. Drop a like, leave a comment below. If you're into racing, racing season starts here in a couple weeks. Stick around if you're into that. We got all kinds of racing videos coming here soon. As always, I appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.